welcome my dear grade 10 elite students to my channel mathematics made easy this is miss ruchika welcoming you to another video for your coming term 3 math exam so this video is going to focus on learning objective 2 uh, part 1 of the exam coverage that has come for your class and before you proceed with this video a reminder a request to watch the first video which is on learning objective one in each video we are going to focus on one learning objective in the coming sessions so let's start with this video and before we do so make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel if you are benefiting from these videos so in this video we are going to be solving question 10 11 12 and 13 the ones that you see on the screen and the learning objective 2 is what we are focusing on so in this session we are going to find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of a given function and as you see these are all rational functions means they have a numerator and denominator so uh, these are the questions 10 to 13 which are given in your math book on page 131 and in order to solve these questions we are going to be using a key concept Concept, which I'm going to briefly discuss in this video very shortly. So let's see what we have to do in this questions first and then we go to the key concept. So in these questions you have to find three things for each part that is the number one domain of each function. Domain remember is the input and comes from the denominator of a rational function. So you will look at the denominator like this, this, this and this and you'll be able to say what is the domain of this graphical um, rational function second thing you need to find is the equation of the vertical asymptote and the third thing you need to find is the equation of horizontal asymptote now how do we find the vertical and horizontal asymptote let me revise for you in case you have forgotten before we solve these questions this is a key concept of vertical and horizontal asymptote that will be used in solving questions 10 to 13. So if you are given a rational function having a numerator ax and a denominator bx, which are nothing but polynomial functions and they don't have any common factor. So you have to remove any common factor if it is there and the condition for the domain will be that the denominator has to be non-zero. So your domain that is first part that is asked in the question is going to come from the denominator. I already mentioned that for you. So you look at the value of bx and make sure it is not zero for the domain to be defined and this function to be a good function. Then for the vertical asymptote, you will use the denominator again and it will be at the points where the denominator is becoming zero. So this is how you get horizontal uh, vertical asymptote. Now let's come to horizontal asymptote. So this fx has at the most one horizontal asymptote. There are some conditions. So you have to actually remember and learn these conditions in order to apply them correctly. So the first condition is if the degree of the numerator is greater than the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. So just compare uh, the maximum power in the polynomial function, numerator and denominator, and see if they are uh, equal greater less what is the condition if the numerator has higher degree than denominator you straight away say there is no horizontal asymptote however if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator there is only going to be one horizontal asymptote that is y equal to zero straight away now the third case where the degree of ax becomes equal to the degree of bx. What do you do in that case? In that case your horizontal asymptote is the line given by y equal to uh, you divide the leading coefficient of the numerator and the denominator. So how do we apply this formula? Now let me show you. Let's get back to the questions in the end of term coverage and solve them using this concept now. So let's solve question 10 first in this slide and I have pasted here a screenshot of the key concept that we will be using. So for question 10 if you first look at the denominator to get the domain it will be quite clear to you that the denominator is a positive quantity it will never become zero. Why? Because it has a square involved. So I'm just writing here for you the first thing we are finding is domain. So for domain it is going to be all real numbers and why all real numbers because this denominator to x square plus 1 can never be 0 it is a positive number always so domain is done let's now move to vertical asymptote again if you see the key concept 
your vertical asymptote is coming from the denominator again so it has a vertical asymptote at the point where bx becomes zero but as i told you in part one 2x square plus 1 can never be 0. So this graph or this question has no vertical asymptote. Let's come to last part of this question which is horizontal asymptote. And just to save time I will be using VA to denote vertical uh, asymptote and HA to denote horizontal asymptote. Now look at the degrees. We have to now compare the degree of numerator and denominator. As I told you, degree is the maximum power. So the maximum power of the numerator here is 2 and the maximum power of the denominator is also 2. Both are equal. So if both are equal, we are going to use this formula where the degree of Ax and Bx are equal. So the horizontal asymptote is given by y equal to division of leading coefficient. So how do we get it? What is the leading coefficient? of the numerator it is the number along with the variable so the number is 4 and in the denominator the leading coefficient is 2 so we divide 4 by 2 and you get 2 so the horizontal asymptote is going to be y equal to 2 so I hope you have understood how to solve um, question 10 using the key concept let's do the remaining questions in the next slide now solve question 11 and 12 in this slide so I'm going to just partition it here and let's first find the domain. So by now I hope you have understood that the domain comes for denominator. So we are going to remove the point where the denominator becomes 0. So x equal to 10 is removed from the domain. So the domain here for this question is going to be all real numbers except x equal to 10. Okay, you may also write the domain in this way, the set of real numbers minus the point 10. You may just remove it in this way. Next we come to the second point which is vertical asymptote. So for vertical asymptote you again go to the denominator. So the vertical asymptote uh, comes from the point where the denominator becomes 0. So vertical asymptote definitely is x equal to 10. Last point, horizontal asymptote. For that, we have to compare the degree of the numerator and denominator. If you see this question, the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 1. So here, which condition is true? Let's check. If the degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. So here, the degree of numerator is 2 degree of denominator is 1. So degree of numerator more than denominator. So for this question we have no horizontal asymptote. Okay so let's complete this question. Now we'll go to question 12. Again we do the same thing. Domain comes for denominator. So from the uh, domain of real numbers we are going to remove the points where the denominator becomes 0. So the denominator will become 0 when this is 0 or this is 0. That means the point that we need to remove is x equal to minus 0 and x equal to 4. So from the domain, now you can write the answer, all real numbers minus the two points minus 2 and 4. Just remove them. Next we go to vertical asymptote for this question. It comes from the denominator. So this is now quite easy. x equal to minus 2 and x equal to 4. There are two vertical asymptotes. Last is horizontal asymptote for which we compare the degree of the numerator and denominator and in this question both are equal. So we are going to use the formula this one. So here degree is 2, here degree is 2. How do you get degree 2? x multiplied with x will give you x squared x multiplied with x will give you x square. So the maximum power is 2. Both are equal. So we are going to use the formula y equal to leading coefficient of numerator divided by leading coefficient of denominator. Now if you multiply x with x, the coefficient is 1. Again x with x, the coefficient is 1. So it will be 1 divided by 1. So the horizontal asymptote is going to be y equal to 1 for this question. So that completes question 11 and 12. 
last question left for this video on learning objective 2 is question 13. Here you have the function gx defined in this manner. So let's do the domain first. The mean comes from the denominator. So it, we will remove the points where denominator becomes 0. That is either this is 0 or this is 0. So x equal to 2, that's the first point, And x equal to minus 4, that is the second point. So from the denominator, uh, from the domain, remove these two points. So your correct answer for domain will be the set of all real numbers minus the two points, 2 and minus 4. Okay. Next, we come to vertical asymptote. For vertical asymptote, we have uh, to take the denominator and the denominator is 0. Now, before we find the vertical asymptote, we will simplify this expression because this is a square minus b square. I can write the numerator in this manner. And what I'm doing, I'm cancelling the common factor in numerator and denominator. If you are asking me why we do so, because in order to apply this condition, there should be no common factor other than one in the numerator and denominator. So this can be written in this manner. I'm applying the algebraic identity a plus b, a minus b to simplify here. So the common term x plus 4 is going to cancel from the numerator and denominator and we are left with this expression as the simplified form. So now for the vertical asymptote, we have only one value left in the denominator which is this point x minus 2. So your vertical asymptote is going to be at the point where it becomes 0. So x equal to 2 is the vertical asymptote, only one. Last point is horizontal asymptote for which we are going to come to the key concept. Let's compare the degree of numerator and denominator. Very clear to see that the degree of the numerator is 2 here. Similarly, the degree of the denominator x multiplied with x is also 2. Both are equal. That means we are going to apply again this formula where we divide the leading coefficient. So y is going to be the leading coefficient is 1 here and 1 in the denominator. So y equal to 1 is the horizontal asymptote. So just a quick reminder, the key concept we used in this video was on vertical and horizontal asymptote. So make sure you learn and remember this while you are solving these kind of questions. We have come to the end of today's video. This completes your learning objective too. For all my grade 10 elite students who are going to give the math exam very shortly. So I wish you all the best for your coming exam and stay glued to my channel for more revision videos coming up. Uh, very soon on Mathematics Made Easy. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's session. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.